Hey guys, looking for best offer between right now and April the 11th, uh, which is Monday. We're going to stop it at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember, guys, there's a three-minute extension timer or anything late, any late offers. I want to extend it by three more minutes. Um, and this is just temporarily, guys. We've got to do this the old-fashioned way for right now. Website's got some issues, but uh, here it is, guys. Just going to put your offers out here in the comments. Best, best offer gets here on uh, Monday the 11th. Hey guys, this is a senior reader doctor. Um, let me get her paperwork out here. Senior reader doctor, here she is. Born April 5th, 2006. Uh, breeder was Firewinds Farm. A lot, of, a lot of people remember them. Um, her name is actually Firewind Senior Reader Doctor. She's out of a horse, a, a real famous uh, Rocky Mountain horse called Firewinds called the Doctor. Um, I've had several of them in here out of him. I got one here that's been here a long time out of him. I uh, love the breeding. And out of a mare called Travis Sugar Babe, which goes back to Johnson Toby. This mare is bred extremely well. Um, and it shows it the way she moves, uh, the way she looks, the, her temperament. Everything about her is awesome. Um, I did I did fill out a paper on her too uh, that I'll share with you all. But here's her here's her Rocky Mountain papers. Uh, her registration number is two thousand seven zero one five one one nine. If you want to look her up, I will. I'll share these on my website too. You can get on there and look at it. We're not my website. We're not doing the website this week. I'll share these on Facebook and get on there and look at them. Um, there's a little paper I filled out with her. I'll attach a picture of this too. Senior Reader Doctor. I used to do these with all the horses, but I kind of got out of it. And I need to get back into it. But anyway, Senior Reader Doctor. Breed Rocky Mountain Horse. Works off leg pressure. Zero out of five points. Five points. Points is max on here. Okay, guys. If they reach 85 points, I think, yeah, if they reach 85 points, I, I call them EWH certified. That means they've got my approval and these are either the real deal. Um, that's, there's not all of them get that, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. That's just, you know, it's this mire out here. I honestly haven't, I haven't calculated her up yet, but right now we've got a zero off work, off leg pressure. You don't know nothing about it. Um, soft mouth, five points. I'll give her five on that, five out of five. Walks on loose rein, five points out of five, max. She will walk on a loose rein all day long. Gates on a loose rein, absolutely, five points out of five. Real nice loose loose rein gate. Um, neck rein, she does let neck rein a little bit. I gave her a two out of five. Uh, rides a bit less, no. Uh, parks out, no. Come get me from the mounting block. The little snap your finger trick, no. I haven't taught her nothing like that yet. I haven't, I haven't done no training this horse. She's just here to be sold. Smooth, evenly timed, four bit gate, five points max. I gave her a five. She's extremely well gated. Keg shot or bare foot, five points max. If she needed a little bit of help or something, then I would you know, judge her off that. But I gave her five points max. I think she's absolutely excellent. She's keg shot all the way around. She don't need no special shoes. So that's what that means. Temperament, 10 points max. I gave her a nine. Um, and, and, and I don't know. Why didn't I give her a 10? Somebody might ask. I don't know. She just. She's pretty daggone good, but, I mean, she's... The, the, little, the little nose thing that she does that I'm getting ready to talk about is probably why I didn't give her the 10. Um, but she's that, she's that good. She's a, she's a nice horse. I'll talk about the nose thing. We'll talk about it here in just a second. Um, beginner safe. I gave her an 8 out of 10 because she has just a tad of gold. I mean, just a tad. Uh, it's hard for me to, to recommend a horse, you know... For a beginner that has any go to it at all, she has just a little. Very controllable, uh, very well trained, but she has a little go. Not spooky. I gave her a nine. I mean, she's she's not spooky. She, things scares her, but she don't react to it. Um, she don't try to jump, take off, run, or nothing like that. And, and you know, so she. I gave her a nine there out of ten. Loads five points max. I gave her a five. Clips and bays. Um, I gave her a three because. She uh she's touchy around her nose again. This is there's there's an issue with her um, when you shoe her. We'll talk about the nose thing, but she's she's touchy around the nose. So uh, I gave her a three there. Got a five. Farrier, I gave her a three. This mare will stand like a wooden Indian to shoe her, but she don't like her back end touch without a twitch. That's why they they've twitched this horse most of her life to to shoe her on the back end. 
And and if you come right at her, we're going to talk about the nose. If you come right at her on her nose, she's going to do this. She thinks you're going to get over her nose. Um, and that's how they've that's how they've shot this horse for years. Um, so I put a video up showing how you do it. You start at the top of her head and just work down, and she's absolutely fine. Um, but worming her or just if for whatever reason you want to come up, look at her mouth or whatever, she's going to pull back. She don't like it. But if you just start her forehead and work your way down, she's fine. Um, so just know that that's the only thing I can fault her with. Um, stands to mount. I gave her an eight out of 10. She stands there pretty daggone good. She might move off just a little bit, walk around just a little bit, but nothing big. Uh, rides out alone. I gave her a 10 maxed out 10 out of 10 guys it's a pretty good mare um like i said she got the little the nose issue there but um they they've they've had this horse for eight years seven or eight years and they're they're, they're family of mine it's my second cousin so i this horse uh she's not been traded around they they breed the top of the line horses and they don't mess around with junk um they just got uh they've they've bred and raised a lot of horses out of this mare and they just they're just switching up their bloodline a little bit they got too much too much of the same bloodline so uh that's why they're they're offering her um she's got some age on her i guess i didn't cover that did i um i'm sorry drag us out so long born april april 5th 2006 so what is she 16 years old 16 year old mar been there done that guy's broke been raised all kinds of babies um a shoulder uh, won some with her. I know that back in the day, uh, I, she throws some excellent babies. And how do I know that? Because I trained them. Um, I've had several of her babies here that I started under saddle myself and was nice babies. Um, I'll have to look back and see. It's been probably three or four years ago since I trained my last one out of her. And I had to look back and see if I got some, some videos of, but one of the last one I trained was out of her and poker face. A lot of people remember, uh, remember poker face. She's a little black filly and she was nice. But anyway, guys, this right here is a horse that you can get on. If you don't know nothing about a horse, you can get up here and ride her, and she's going to make you look like you know. She's going to grab attention. She's absolutely beautiful and stunning and sharp, slick, fat, and pretty. And I promise you guys, if them papers wasn't with this horse, they ain't no way. I, I would never knew she's the oldest she is. She's 16 years old. But you, you can't tell by looking at her. She's as pretty and as young as an eight-year-old horse, just healthy. Um, they said they took very good care of her. They've always had her shots. They've always had her feet done. They've always had to fire her out, the dentist, the, the vet, all that, always on time. Um, if you look at her mouth, she'll mouth for about 11, 12-year-old, and I guarantee you there's not a vet on the planet that'll mouth this mare out. Right. I could I could hire anybody you want to bring up here, and I guarantee you their age would be off. They wouldn't know. I, I would bet money on it. I, I would bet money, a lot of money. I'd bet money that they ain't a vet out there that can come up here and get their mouth right on this horse. She's got a young mouth on her. She is 16 years old. There's her paperwork. But anyway, you buy her off anybody else, they'd probably probably call her eight or nine year old, but she's 16. Nice mare, guys. Um, 16 year old don't hurt her none. Um, I'm very tempted to buy her myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer her. Um, obviously, well, I can't afford her. Uh, she does have a, you know, she's got a reserve on her. And, I really can't afford to buy another horse, but I'd really like to have her myself. But uh, you know, they're going to offer her to the to the public, and you know, she don't bring a whole lot. Uh, I may end up buying her myself. I mean, seriously, um, I don't I don't bid on them. But if she don't if she don't bring a reserve, whatever the reserve is, I might just meet that and give her to my youngest boy Logan. He needs uh, he needs his confidence built up, and what better way to build confidence than put put a little boy on a on a winning horse and put him in a show ring, let him collect blue ribbons. So, and I really am considering that. No joke. Nice horse, guys. Here she is. This is Dr. or Senorita Doctor. The only thing they said about her, guys, is uh, she ha she does have to be twitched whenever they show her, her back feet. So she's a little bit funny about if you come out straight out her nose. With your hand, sometimes she'll kind of shy away like she's doing right there. And it's not terrible, but she does it. So, so what you got to do is kind of start up here between her eyes and just rub down. And then you got her. Like that. So she's a little bit funny about her nose. But once you get it, she's fine with it. But as far as putting the br uh, bridle on her, she's fine with it. If I can get it unhooked off my coat, there it is. But she'll take a bit good. You ain't going to worry about that or anything. 
I wish I'd run out of bullets after I've been shooting guns. Can't hold that many. There you go. Keep her in the center. Good girl.
sure she's doing. Big blue dummy's wet. It's wet and until it dries it won't hardly stand up right like it used to.